What's up guys, welcome back to Games in Hand, and we're here with the Lenovo Legion Go again with that new VGA driver update, the GPU driver update. I want to talk about that a little bit more in this video and show some more game comparison and talk about some stuff we're seeing uh, towards the latter half and end of this video. So let's kind of get into it here. This does have the same caveats and issues that we had with the beta driver version with not having uh, frame gen other than external monitor and Legion space still not working monitoring and that type of thing. Still no space update as of May 3rd. 30th, about 8.30 p.m. Eastern here for that, and no official driver update being pushed to space yet, so hopefully we'll see that space update fixing some of the issues we're having and see that driver land in here like it's supposed to, but they haven't pushed it there yet. Also, if we go over to the community forum area, we'll go down here click on the Legion community forum here in the Legion Go or on your computer. There isn't anything as of this date yet either uh, officially from uh, Lenovo. There's stuff up here from the community members and stuff like that and talking about the driver, but nothing officially from them yet discussing its release that we've seen over on the website or anything like that. So the only way I found this was to go into online support. This thing's been out for about three or four days now. We go to drivers here, select manual, and we'll be able to download and install the GPU. Driver. Now, I did it this way that you're seeing here in the video, just downloading and installing over top of everything, and it worked just fine. I also did a clean DDU install as well after that because I was having some issues, but those issues just still kind of persist anyway. So I didn't get any difference between just installing over top or removing and reinstalling. Everything basically just worked the same for me that way. But anyway, going through the normal process, it was easy to get everything to install, and it didn't give me any problems. I saw some people mentioning they were having some issues getting this driver to just install in general and absolutely had a DDU but I did both ways and it was fine now you also always want to go into your store uh, Microsoft store after doing a driver update to make sure you get the latest version of the Radeon software that way all the features and stuff are gonna work properly for you there but getting all that done, resetting the, restarting the device and all of that, um, we do get what we're supposed to here. We do get the new April 22nd version from AMD 2340-2801 versus the old November dated version, November 7th from December 25th that was released from Lenovo, not counting that beta driver in between. So it's been five months since we got a real official driver. This does allow the fluid motion frames now, but only on an external monitor. So a positive thing here is Cinema Saga Hellblade 2 now works for me without crashing on this new driver, which is nice and will probably solve some problems on some of the other games. But the FPS monitor still doesn't work properly from space and they did say that we are waiting for an update for that. So uh, we are, everybody's kind of aware, but yeah. Definitely want to see that get fixed up, and I think there's some other bugs and issues that are really happening with TDP and other things still that need to get straightened out. Also, the fluid motion frames, of course, with the portrait display still not working in handheld mode with the official drivers here. Um, they aren't just aren't compatible, which is a shame. I do use the lossless scaling app in Steam, which works great. I really like that for frame gen. It works on here handheld. Um, it would be nice if we had the driver level working here, but as of right now, it is still only for the external displays. But like I said, one positive, at least this game and probably some others I've and having trouble with are actually working now so the newer driver is definitely welcome here now of course same problem in other games i jumped around and tested other stuff but uh, just to show you that it does work in docked mode we'll go ahead and switch over there so we'll go ahead and plug in here go to docked mode we'll enable fluid motion frames you'll see the stutter the dip in base frame rate here in msi afterburner and it is working so probably 88 to 100 frames if we could see that in an overlay that could pick it up but right now not an overlay that we're able to see that with now some games like ghost of tsushima have in-game frame generation that works fantastic on this portrait screen in this game in particular it works really well it's actually a clean, clean representation uh, of frame gen in game it works good but let's go ahead and take a look at some more of these comparisons so ghost of tsushima runs off of the same bios v version 32 and then the two drivers here the older driver and the new driver and in this case we actually get a little bit better performance our lows aren't as bad and frame times tend to hang on better here as well it's just overall a cleaner representation of the game it feels a little bit better to play it's not a big difference there's some variation as to which one may or may not get better fps from time to time but temps are similar ram uses is similar clocks are similar uh, but overall frame time's a little bit more stable frame rate may be a little bit more stable and just overall the game itself feels a little bit better it feels pretty good here on the new driver so in this setup it feels like there's improvement however there is a temperature issue a lot of people have been having including myself with the newer bio so we're going to take a look at the BIOS version 29 and the older driver and version 32 and the newer driver. 
In this case, you'll see even at the same wattage, we have quite a difference in our temperatures, and that's with the exact same fan curve uh, for both of these tested to, to see what would happen. And a lot of us have complained about the additional temps since some of these BIOS updates, and it does appear that seems to be true, and it does affect the clocks and performance a little bit, especially here on the GPU side of things. I tested this over and over and over again. If I'm on version 32, everything matches up better, but on 29 and these drivers like this, it's just a little bit different, and the newer driver will perform worse if you don't do something to adjust your fan up to bring the temps down and i'll show you an example of that when we get to cyberpunk next but i did want to show that here so if you don't change anything you just test it like this out of the box 2932 and those drivers you're going to get a little bit worse performance not by a lot uh, but by a little on the newer side same thing over here in cyberpunk so version 29 bios and 32 bios old driver new driver and you'll see the same thing with the difference in temps quite a dramatic difference here in cyberpunk 9 to 10 celsius which is going to change our performance again we do see some clock speed uh, differences and stuff like that that happens the fps and just overall the game doesn't run as well but i'll show you i do turn up the fans here in a little bit and I'll show you what happens to the performance uh, when we get to that. But yeah, overall, it definitely does struggle with it just set up this way again, kind of out of the box without tweaking those fans or changing anything on my own. And we get worse performance there, 4553 versus the 4299, which would be expected with what I was seeing there. But if we change the fans and we uh, max those out, we'll get different performance. So here's Cyberpunk with that same setup, but I just took away the the same setup I had on fans and just full blasted here on the new version 32 and just let it bring temps down however it wanted to which brought us much closer to the same clocks and performance and everything here at the 20 watts even to the point of the benchmark being now 4553 and 4540 basically the exact same thing so all the story isn't told in just the new GPU driver it's also told in those BIOS versions what our thermals are doing and all that type of thing and I know myself and others have been complaining that those temps have been climbing higher and higher with updates that we've been getting and I suspect between Legion Space and the BIOS we definitely need some fixes or some changes because it is much different than what we were getting uh, not too long ago so you definitely have to adjust those fans those curves whatever you want to do if you want to get the performance from 29 to 32 the same but if you're looking at version 32 and version 32 and just the two drivers this new driver does tend to handle games better when you're looking at it that way all right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, we really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.